Africa Sports Network around the MLS with Sam and Chris. 48 hours to the kickoff of the 2023 MLS regular season. Chris, it's been long anticipated and we are just a few hours away from the new season. You know, how excited are you about the new season? Well, I'm so excited because um, if you follow in the transfer market, every team has been shopping this season. You know, so it shows the the amount of seriousness. Also, it shows how how important it is for every team to get a, a, the right squad to compete and obviously become um, eventually become the MLS champion. So it's been exciting to watch. Even back here in Houston, uh, for the first time in a long time, a lot of transfer players transfer market has been bubbling with the Houston Dynamo players coming in. Even some players has got waiting from the junior team to the senior team new coach new um, new everything basically yeah you know new board members new everything so basically it's gonna be interesting to see how the season goes it's gonna be interesting how the season goes but uh, when you look at Houston Dynamo 12 new players walked in through this door and I think according to Paran Star the GM he said like they, are, they will make you know one or two signs before the transfer window slam shot you know and you know that when you have 12 new players that means you you that means they they they, they acquired a new team in an entire in an entire an entirety so now when you buy a new set of players coming from different leagues some came from paraguay some came from you know all latin american leagues it takes a little bit of time for them to sink and look at when ben Olsen was appointed late november with all these players you know do you think this team is battle ready against FC Cincinnati. Well, when it comes to battle ready, it depends on where you're coming from. Are you talking battle ready from the physical part or the mental part? From everything, not, or from, from everything. ramifications. Well, I would say I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to answer that question yet. T, after the game, the yes. But the good thing about it is that because of the signings you have made, the club lately have been making and the right decisions, right? So what it shows that uh, even if they don't achieve, in my own opinion for this season, I'm not expecting too much from them, but I see the club moving towards the right direction. So that means that yeah, they, they know what they're doing. Obviously they have maybe a five-year plan. I don't know what kind of plan they have, but it shows that they are moving to a playbook and the club is moving forward. The club is moving forward, just like you said, you know, you don't know what the plans are, whether it's a five-year plan, but at the end of the day, you know, last time we spoke to the owner, um, um, Ted Sego, he spoke about the fact that this team should be able to make playoffs. And coming to that, I was reading some articles by a lot of MLS pundits, and none of them, none of them gave Houston Dynamo a chance to make the postseason. Yeah. You know, what will your reaction be? Well, my reaction is I'm not surprised. Dynamo has always finished for the last three in the past three seasons. They have always struggled, right? So this is normal when a team is not winning, people don't have that respect or fear for their team. Automatically taking you off away from teams that they feel can compete with the best players. But as you said earlier on, you just said 12 players came in through the door this season to prepare a team for to prepare a team for the decisions I had the season's coming which starts on Saturday so who knows you know the team might be able to do something special you know and surprise everybody and sometimes underdogs have a way and have the advantage to surprise teams I think Houston has that too because because of the lack of respect and lack of players that they have some teams might want to take them for granted and you saw a little clip of what this team could do last season towards the end when they started like picking up they have majority of those players still in the team it gives Ben a little bit of a leverage to work with the new players and also the old players that have been team so far who knows they can strike something and make some change surprise the MLS this season by doing something special yeah. Who knows that they can surprise the Major League Soccer and other teams in the Western Conference to do something special. We listened to Penelson during this um, pre-match uh, conference. You know, we spoke about how prepared they are, the players, um, how they are getting along during the preseason. And also he spoke about some key doubts ahead of Saturday open against FC Cincinnati, like Daniel Starrers, who is a key man in that back four, like Hector Herrera, who is the star man of this team, you know. Do you think these injuries can, you know, kind of change the dynamics if on game day they are not game ready? Well, it definitely is going to change dynamics, especially when um, 
a player that you think that you're relying on might not be able to fill in that spot. But on the other hand as well, he's new on the team and I think he has been able to give a lot of other players opportunities in the training to see a player that can fit in that position pending when that injury heals. So I think we might not have a good, a good coverage, but they're definitely going to have a coverage on that position and who knows? You know how the game is sometimes some people just need just that one opportunity okay. and before you know the confidence had to build up, it's going to be difficult for the next injured man to come back and take the shirt. So I, I think Dynamo this season is going to be full of surprises, like yeah, surprises in, I don't know what, surprises or ramifications. So I'm, I'm kind of keeping my, my fingers crossed and being optimistic about the whole, about the the whole, whole campaign. Yeah, because a lot has happened in the last four months. To me, I would say right now, Dynamo are unknown quantity, you know, yeah. but when I read, you know, those articles written by MLS Pondy, they never give them a chance, and which I think is okay, because not most of them, you know, know what is going on, the rebuilding process happening here at the PNC, at the, at the Challenge Stadium, at the um, Houston Sports Park, and how, you know, invested the owner has been with this team. Look at the amount of money he has spent the stadium, he has spent over $10 million in renovations and all the things, you know. But when you look at um, this um, Houston Dynamo team this season, something is special, and I must point it out, four African players will be playing their trade here this season. You know, I mean, Abbasi from Morocco, whom they got from French League 2, we also have... Um, Tej Hadebe, who has been here for like two, uh, I think two seasons. We also have um, Achara, the Nigerian player, who is here to join the team due to some visa issues happening in Nigeria. And also we have uh, Mojab Morano, you know, the guy that came from the Dynamo Dust. You know, how happy are you, knowing fully well that now that they have included four African play, players of African descent in this team? Well, I'm happy. You know, it's great when you see experience things like that you know first of all Houston is one of the most diverse cities in the whole of the United States which means it has a lot of Africans um, a high population of Africans from different countries in Africa so it's only right for the team to have Africans representing them as well too yeah, right. because we know we're having issues trying to get people into the stadiums to watch the games but you know things like this other Africans want to watch their fellow Africans playing soccer want to encourage them want to support them and just want to feel um, um, a, a part of the team because manically you feel a part of the team because your countryman or your is you know, playing for the team. Playing. So I think it's a way forward. You know, as I said, a lot of things have changed this season, and everything is changing towards the the positive direction. So I think um, yeah, kudos to Mr. Ted Sega. He obviously knows what he's doing, and he's trying to make um, the best out of situations and make Dynamo one of the top contender teams in the MLS this season. Even FC says this should be their third season in the Major League Soccer, and they in their inaugural season they missed the playoff. In their second year in the league, they made the postseason, and this is their third season. And when we look at the level of investment since Nati did, you know, it's quite impressive. And the stadium is a brand new stadium, you know. So going to FC Cincinnati on the opening day weekend, just like Ben Olsen said, it's not going to be an easy task. Even though I asked him, you know, how important would their two-nil home win over FC Dallas we factor into that game against FC Cincinnati. But but you know, despite all. You know, he said, What can you deduce from the body language from the demand of Ben Olsen ahead of this match against FC Cincinnati? Well, what I can deduce is, is, is definitely under pressure, man. <laughs> that dude is under pressure. <laughs> You would ask him looking older than yeah, normal. Yeah, yeah. You know? he's, he's under pressure. But one thing I notice about being under pressure, you can tell naturally he's a man that wants to win and that yeah. likes to win. So from his dominion, you can see he's under pressure, but at the same time, you know he he wants to win the game. You know he wants to win the game. So that's what I did use, but. I wouldn't want to be in that situation right now. <laughs> Give me the hot seat. <laughs> All right, Tom. He want to win. He want to win. He want to win the opening game against FC Cincinnati at the TKL Stadium on Saturday. Africa Sports Network will be there live to bring to you the who's, the has, everything that will transpire on that opening day weekend. And my name is Sam, and this is Chris Carters, and this has been Around the MLS on Africa Sports Network.